I said, great, you know, you learned the language of project management, but did you actually learn anything useful? He said, oh yeah, I picked up a few useful things too. My name is Keith Farndale. I'm a sessional lecturer in project management through the Department of Civil Engineering, but our course is open to all engineering disciplines. Well, I don't teach any other courses at the University of Toronto, but I do do corporate training in project management. We're going to cover from when uh, the need for a project is identified. We're going to go through some initiating uh, in which our company is going to recognize that there is a formal project and you are assigned and you have some authority to spend resources. We're going to go through some planning. We're, we're going to identify the idea. There is a framework of project management that I use, an international recognized framework of project management. And of course, there's always a danger that we could be very theoretical and not talk about practical applications. I'd like to think that my experience that I've tried to use here on the board is from real projects applying these real project management principles. And I have heard lots of stories and had discussions with other people in other industries with examples that illustrate. And I try to get examples out from the class, particularly those who have some work experience or maybe part-time students currently in industry. For students that, uh, that are coming from industry or that are, that are working in industry, they have a, now they're coming with a much better understanding of what is project management because their organizations are doing more of it than 10 or more years ago. My educational background is I'm a civil engineer from the University of Waterloo. I have an MBA from McMaster University and I picked up professional designations along the way, a project management professional with the Project Management Institute, earned value professional with the Association for the Advancement of Cost Engineering. And for corporate training, it's good to, have a, to be a certified training professional with the Canadian Society for Training and Development. My work background is that I'd spent uh, about 20 years in constru on-site construction management and project controls, which means very much cost and schedule control of projects, and uh, project management within engineering head offices, within multidiscipline engineering firms, but I was in the project management or construction management practice, and some firms that did professional project management for, of capital projects for owners. Uh, then for the last uh, 25 years, I've had my own consulting practice where we've been consulting with clients on project methodology, project audits, uh, training, um, uh, planning sessions, and I've been, so I've been exposed to a number of different industries. What I'd like to continue to do is really working with, not only with our students and participants in courses on their own improvement, but we like working with uh, companies and organizations that want to improve their project management. How can they improve their processes? Uh, how can they uh, decide on competencies of project managers and how can they develop people into those competencies so that they can consistently be successful in their projects. I think the benefits of the course for potential students are um, if you have not yet been exposed to project management and you have not done much if anything in the real work environment, it, it, it prepares you for plunging into engineering work where you're almost certainly going to be a part of a project. So understanding the context of that and why are people asking you for estimates to complete and asking you for project management input. Uh, for those who already have some work experience, they're going to recognize what project management is right away and they're going to be keen on questions and examples and how to, uh, how to use project management or what to do in various circumstances. Uh, some students will, will decide in their future to follow a project management career path, so they will be intensely involved in all of this other students may, in their future, follow a much more technical career path, but still, they're usually doing it in the context of projects. When we work with industry, <clears throat> we, we help them adapt, we help them find and adapt well-understood good practice in project management and help them figure out how to apply it in their own environment. Project management has changed over the years. 30 or 40 years ago, project management really was a plan, it was really planning and coordination. It was intensely involved, particularly with schedule. Quite different in emphases and approach from one to another and to today. But I can say that modern project management, as we espouse it today, started to emerge between the 30s and the 50s. <clears throat> it was um, modern management theory as far back as the 1910s, I suppose, started to push us in this direction. 
But since then, project management has emerged into the much broader thing that it is right now. We're dealing with the whole project from beginning to end. We're dealing with stakeholders. We're dealing with requirements through to the completion and satisfaction of those requirements. We're dealing with teams. We're dealing with risks. Um, since just prior to the year 2000 projects, you know, December 31st, 1999, there was intense interest in many organizations that had information systems on project management. That gave a big kick to developing project management out in industry. And there was also a big growth of interest in project risk management. So project risk management, uh, when I started consulting in my current company in the mid-1990s, there was almost no risk management. Now, every project management organization I go into does project risk management. That's been an area of big growth. I wouldn't say that there's much in project, even though there's been a big growth of use and application of project management, really, in recent years, project, the discipline of project management, the tools haven't changed very much. The tools have been around for a few decades. It's the application of those that has been changed more recently. Some people think that for every kind of project, there is best practice. Um, but I think organizations can always find out ways to do their practices better than the competitors. It's not like there's one way to manage a particular kind of project. There is the way that the organization decides. And that may be similar to their competition, or it may be better. Uh, many people who are interested in project management in North America are familiar with the Project Management Institute. Many people may cho choose to join the Project Management Institute. They have a project management professional designation that tends to be popular. All of my course content is completely consistent with that for the benefit of those who may be interested. For engineering construction kinds of projects, particularly industrial, the Association for the Advancement of Cost Engineering is quite leading edge, or is on the leading edge of very good documented, very good documented support for us project managers. There's also the International Project Management Association, which is global, that has some competency models and publications that are useful. Oh, my favorite music is jazz, virtually any kind of jazz. Um, my favorite sport, I think it's uh, canoe camping on the French River, which is, has the historical significance of you know, the route across Canada for the fur traders, and it's a great canoe route. And I have a picture of the French River taken at dawn on a misty um, rapids uh, as my uh, desktop. Oh, gee, I look like a nerd with all this stuff in my pocket. Ha, 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 ha.